Hello friends, welcome to tutorials point. In this video we will learn COBOL conditional statements. So this is the agenda, we will learn about if else, then the sign condition, class conditions, then 88 level condition followed by negated condition and evaluate verb. So we will first start with if else. So if statement checks for the conditions which we mention after the if, like here if then we mention the condition, then we can mention else and then end if. So if a condition is true then the if block will be executed and if a condition is false then the else block will be executed and end if is used to end the if block. To end a if block a period can be used instead of end if. Suppose if you remove this part then and put a dot here, put a period here then this will be automatically ended this if statement. Also you can use if and then simply end if. You, you, it's not mandatory to use every time the else statement. Then we have sign condition. Sign condition is used to check whether the sign of a numeric operand is positive or negative. It determines like if it is less than 0 equal to 0. So we can check the values of numeric fields using sign condition. So here you can see the syntax is data name you can mention the variable name is not or you can mention positive, negative or 0. So we can check all these values using this. It can be used in if like if this is negative then display this and then perform this operation. Similarly we have a class condition this checks for alpha this is only for alphabets and it checks whether it is a uppercase, it is a lowercase or whether it is alphabetic or not. Then we have 88 level condition. Condition name is user defined name here you can define any condition it contains a set of values specified by the user they are defined with level number 88 and it will not have a pick clause. So you can see the syntax here at 01 level you define a group whether it is uh, 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 student marks then you can see at 88 level you can write 88 pass value is less than 40 and 88 fail value is less than 40 and in the above you can write value is greater than 40. So you can set any values here in the syntax and further it can be used in evaluate per which will come in the next slide. Then we have negated condition this is like uh, putting a not in front of the condition in that situation the reverse will be true. So if a condition is true and we are we have given not in front of it then its final value will be false. Now comes the evaluate which we have discussed in 88 level. At 88 level you need to specify the values like pass fail, pass is greater than 40 and fail is less than 40 like 88 for pass we need to write 40 to 100 then 88 fail. Uh, we, need, we need to write value as 0 to 40. So this we will use in evaluate verb. So it is a replacement of if, if else and you can compare it with the switch statement in C programming. It can be used to evaluate more than one condition. So what we will do is evaluate true here after when you can write the conditions. Suppose you write like WS uh, in 88 level we have written pass or fail. You can write when pass display this when fail display this at the end you need to mention when other. So when other if none of the, if none of the condition is true then the logic it will the flow will go to when other and this statement will be displayed or else you can mention any other steps here. So now let us see all these functions practically. We will discuss about different conditional statements. I have coded one COBOL module for this. Let me open that. do a reset. In this module I have already passed the values and we will see how the conditions work. Here we have five variables then we have one alphabetic this one is sign and here I have given lower case then we have 88 level conditions and then we will see the evaluate one. So we will start with this condition. If statement checks for conditions, if a condition is true and if statement if block is executed and if the statement is false the else block is executed. Suppose if number 1 is greater than number 2 then this part will be executed and if number 2 number 1 is less than number 2 then the else part will be executed. Here if you can see one more if I have give I have added an one nested if situation. It will go to this if if number 1 is greater than number 2 then it will check for num3 and num4 
and it will display this line then end if immediately it will it will come out of this end if as well because it is not going in the else part next we are checking if ws num5 is negative positive or it is a zero we can simply write like a like simple english if the variable name is negative then print this i i haven't used else part else part for this we can directly end it with end if then we can check for positive and we can check for zero as well similarly instead of greater than we can use less than we can use equal to or we can use negation as well we'll see negation in a while then we can check for alphabetic also in this situation we have checked for negative positive and zero in this situation we can check for alphabetic numeric or spaces we can simply write if the uh, variable name is alphabetic then print this or do this action if this variable is numeric then do this action if this is spaces if this is zeros we can simply write the as cobol is english like language you can simply write the condition here and then it will execute that block then next is this pass on fail here you don't say any condition this is 88 level condition which we have coded above we normally code it it's a user defined one so it is a user defined name it contains a set of values specified by the user it behaves like a boolean variables they are defined with level number 88 it will not have a pick clause so here you can see this is our condition this one ws marks 88 this is 88 level 88 level we have written pass and the values will be from 41 to 100 and it will be fail if values are from 000 to 040 so it will check for the values of ws marks and then it will check for pass or fail depending on this condition you can add any number of values here if you want to give through you can use through or else you can mention 41 42 43 44 it works in both the conditions then we have negated condition here i have written if pass display this before that i have moved a value to ws marks because it will evaluate based on the value of ws marks then you can use not as well i have written if not fail i know the value in this is 75 so it will say if not fail means if pass i am negate i am doing a negation on fail so negation of fail is pass then we have evaluate true in this we check the value of number 4 if number 4 is greater than 10 execute this block when ws number 4 is it's not a if it's when when number 4 is greater than 10 execute this one and come out of the loop if it is uh, less than 10 then execute this loop and come out of the loop if none of the condition mentioned above is satisfied then we check for when other and whatever is written in this statement it will be executed so we'll run this first of all we'll compile this program go to gcl open in member list mode edit do reset here you can see i have changed the name to pcon we are executing pcon cobol module the rest of the things are same only submit here you can see completion code is equal to 0 now we'll execute the main module just to show you we have given this load library and we'll open this here we can see all the modules which we have ran till now layout one hello one p condition one one two three program so this is assembly language we have seen this earlier as well now we'll execute the main jcl I'm using the same JCL. I'm just changing the program name here. It's not a hello program. It's a pcon program. So, but it is just used to trigger the program. We'll do a submit.
condition code 0 it's successful now we'll go to spool go to status jobs I'm using tab to go from one position to another position or you can use arrows as well go to sys out now we'll open the module in parallel just to see the conditions so we have already printed these values here you can see num1 is having 99, 72, num3 is 35, 20, 35 and 5th one so here ws num1 is greater so we'll check which log logic is here we have given num1 is greater than num2 so num1 is having 99 and num2 is having 72 so this loop will be executed it is showing num1 is greater than and then it is going to it is checking num3 and num4 so we know they these values are same 35 so it will execute this block as well it will display num3 num4 are equal we'll check in spool here you can see num3 and num4 are equal next is negative condition we are checking here if num5 is negative here you can see num5 i have given sign s 9 of 2 and i have given value as minus 25 so it is negative so that's the reason it is showing display statement because it is executing this block so ws num is negative next it is checking for alphabetic or numeric here ws name is alphabetic I have given WS name as A alphabetic and I have given something some values here so it is comparing this value with the alphabets and the condition is true that's the reason it is printing WS num is alphabetic next we have WS num 1 value is 99 you know and uh, it is numeric so 99 is numeric that's the reason it is going in this loop if you go and check here it is negative then alphabetic then numeric now this is 88 level here it is it has written if first we are moving 75 to ws marks if pass display this ws mark so it is displaying ws mark 75 pass because marks are 75 in next I have shown the negative instead of pass I have written not fail so it means same only so and here in display we have changed the statement negated pass it's a negated case here you can see ws mark 75 negated pass then we have evaluate true here we are checking w value of ws num4 we know num4 is greater than 10 so it will go in this loop and it will execute this one here you can see num value num4 value is 35 that is greater than 10 so this is all about conditional statements in the next video we'll cover loop statements where we'll see the perform statement